You're watching Ruroni K95's anime review on Urusei Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer. Hi Ruronis, this is your pal Ruroni K95. Today's anime review, we're going to be reviewing Urusei Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer. So let's begin. Ataru, Lum, and others from their class are relaxing in the ruins of Tomobiki Cho. Ataru looking exhausted in the past Ataru's class are preparing a World War II themed cafe complete with a leopard tank from Shutaro Mendo. And Lum is looking for Ataru who's crashed out in the tank, dreaming of his harem. Shutaru hears him calling out Ryoko's name. So he enters the tank to take care of that while Onsen Sensei grabs the cannon turret. Ataru being started out of a sleep causes the turret to turn, sending Onsen Sensei outside since Ryunosuke has entered the tank. Ataru is trying to hit on her, which Lum discovers Ryunosuke escapes, but Ataru and Shutaru, Shutaru got electrocuted, causing the tank to go haywire and destroy their work on the cafe. Now, with an all-nighter plan to repair the damage, Lum and Shinobu go to make tea where Sakura Sensei happens to be. Shinobu can't understand what Lum sees in Ataru, but Lum loves Ataru and all of her friends at school. Ataru and Shutaru make a run to get food for everyone, but encounter strange things on the way back the following morning. Work continues as an exhausted Onsen Mark arrives. Sakura Sensei orders him to go home and get some sleep, but mistakenly gives him high potency laxatives instead of tranquilers. Realizing her mistake, she races on a motorcycle to his apartment, but upon entering, she discovers everything nasty and mushrooms growing. She throws Onsen Sensei out the window, then cat races to catch him, but decides not to because of how dirty he is. At a cafe, still exhausted, Onsen Sensei states that he's lost track of the time. Citing the story of Urashima Taro, Sakura Sensei won't hear of it, but despite the fact that he believes Tomobiki Cho to be on the back of the mythical turtle from the Urashima story... And that she wouldn't sense it because uh, she's, she's caught up in it. She changes her mind that evening when they return to school and discover that the scene from the night before is playing out complete with another Onsen Sensei gripping the cannon uh, of the leopard. As he dangles outside the classroom, the bed-wrangled Onsen Sensei kicks everyone out of school and locks the gates while Sakura Sensei decides to go do some investigating. Lum flies off with Ataru to his home. Megane, Perm, take the train home but end up back at the station. They start it from eventually back at school. Kokugari and Chibi take a bus home but end up back at the school. Shinobu takes a ride from Shutaru but they try to end up back at school. Sakura Sensei goes to Cherry's camp but it finds it abandoned. She hails a taxi cab but the, when the driver starts talking of the Ashima Taro story, Sakura tries to exercise, exercise him but fails to the nail turtle to nail the turtle. He her right end up at the school, so she and the others head to Ataru's house to seek lodging for the night and escape the rain. Shinobu discovers that Ten-chan has a small but odd cute piglet as a pet. The next day, everyone heads to the school, but a sleepy Ataru think sinks into the puddle and disappears. Shinobu sees something weird on the way to school. Well, at school, in the pool, Ataru's leopard tank sits and Ataru emerges. Not knowing where, how he got there, a worried Lum fly, finds there being chased by Shutaru. But when Ataru won't say he when he's been, uh, he and Shutaru got fried. Sakura Sensei decide to break the loop and uh, as everyone in the class meet at the Jipangu Okonomiyaki, a Japanese pancake restaurant with the disappearance of Onsen Sensei, Sakura Sensei, and Shutaru attempt to tell the others of what is going on. Shutaru have been made aware earlier that Ataru and the others aren't convinced, but when Shutaru says he won't pay the food bill, they decided to help with the investigation. 
at school. The guys and Lum head in to investigate, finding witness weirdness is all around. Sakura Sensei and Shinobu are waiting outside as Sakura Sensei notes that the school now has floors added to it. The group flees where to where Shouturu has an emergency Harrier jet with the most clinging to the sides of the plane. Shuturo takes off, but then they discover that Tomobiki Cho is on the back of Stone Turtle with Cherry and Onsen Mark as statues holding the city with fuel running out. Shuturo lands at the plane at Ataru's home, which keeps its power gas, and despite Ataru there being no one else around, furthermore, Kanchenes store never buy runs out of food and supplies despite no one being there to supply it. With that, the small group of people live their lives. Shinobu and Ataru's mother doing the cooking during the day. There is a lot of goofing off except for Shuturo, who takes his tank and destroying the decaying buildings. Ataru pursues Shinobu and Ryunosuke, a t irritating lum. The two girls disappear. Those two girls disappear, and Sakura Sensei and Shutoro rappel down the side of the city, where he finds the giant statues of Shinobu and Ryunusuke now helping Cherry and Onsen Sensei. Sakura Sensei figures she's next to disappear, so she sends the word to Ataru to meet her that night to the school clock's tower. Ataru shows up on time, where he's surprised to see Shutoro is also there waiting. Over snacks and tea, Sakura Sensei attempts to exercise, but the being but fails. He shows his true identity and calls himself Ujaki as being responsible for granting dreams. If he said dreams are evil, Lum's innocence drew him to make her, her dream of a life with Ataru and her friends come true. Anyone threat that threatens that dream are kicked out, but are they put into another? Uh, oh, their, uh, their own dreams. Sakura sh and Shuturu are trapped in a dream, but Mujaki is shocked when Ataru shows up. Since Ataru has protection from Sakura, Mujaki grants Ataru's dream of a harem. However, Ataru is not happy since Lum isn't there. Mujaki is surprised, but Ataru says he loves Lum and other girls. Thus, a harem without Lum is meaningless. In his frustration, Mujaki accidentally drops a Baku, which Ataru takes, which will allow him reality to return. Ataru blows the horn, which causes Ten Chan's piglet pig to start destroying Lum's world. Mujaki says that Ataru won't escape as Ataru is caught up in the destruction, waking an, up in Shutaro's vehicle on the that on the night that the two went for food. However, this too is a dream. Mujaki has several other dreams for Ataru designed to punish him. A young girl with a big hat says he, she knows the way to reality. Ataru has to call the name of the person he cares for as he falls. The girl is a young lum as so. So as Ataru falls to earth, he calls out every girl before calling to lum. Thus, waking up in the classroom with the others, lum wakes up and they are were about are about to kiss when the others are awakened, so Ataru backs off to Lum's frustration, resulting her in her frying him. So that's my review on Urusei Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer. Wow, talk about a journey into the surreal. Well, as I warned about this, the tale of Rashima Taro comes to a quite few th very times in various anime and manga titles. Nothing but you see, but... We, in other anime movies, such as Urusei Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer. Because we all know this is a follow-up to the first Urusei Yatsura movie, which is Urusei Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer, which I've already covered to the review. And the scene that I, that I know that it sounds familiar in Urusei Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer, during the, the game of tag scene, where Ataru catches Lum's tiger stripe bikini top on it, and... That's probably from the first episode. Oh, I almost forgot. I'll probably plan on reviewing the Urusei Yatsura anime series in the later anime review videos. So anywho, this anime movie was directed by Momoru Oshii, who is known for Ghost in the Shell movies, several Pat Labor films, Jinro the Wolf Brigade, and the Skycrawlers. He also directed some of the episodes of Urusei Yatsura when he was working on the series, until, so, like its predecessor, Only You, 
Urusei Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer, borrows heavily from the Japanese fairy tale of Urashima Taro, where areas the previous film was written by Tomoko Kanparu. Beautiful Dreamer was written by Oshi with no consultation from Rumiko Takahashi. Writer director Momoru Oshi, who was unsatisfied with how the first film had developed, rejected the idea of catering to the audience's expectations and decided to do the film his own way. This almost caused Rumiko Takahashi to reject the script because it debated. It so far from the original story, and also in an, in an interview with Kenma Jump in 2008, Momoru Oshi said that he felt joy making the film because at that time, he finally understood how to make a film. In the 2002 Japanese DVD of Urusei Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer commentary for Urusei Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer, Momoru Oshi gave some more insight regarding his involvement with the film, according to the commentary. Oshi, some of the film's designs were inspired by M.C. Escher, and that he wanted to create a story from the viewpoint of a man, as opposed to Rumiko Takahashi's work by the hands of women at in work. Urusei Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer, was released theatrically in Japan on February 11, 1984, where it was distributed by Toho Company Limited, which is known for Godzilla films and other, and, and as well as anime in general. Upon its initial release, the film received mixed responses, generally from the fan community. Criticism was especially given towards Oshi, in which several of them sent letters containing razor blades. Despite this, the film was considered to be an early example of Oshi's well-received style of filmmaking. And also, Central Park Media released the film Urusei Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer on VHS in North America on November 1st, 1993, and on DVD on June 8th, 2004, the DVD contained a full-length director's commentary by Momoru Oshi, as well as an art gallery on Urusei Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer, is the only Urusei Yatsura film released by the United States by U.S. Manga Corps, not Animago, though Animago is credited with doing the translation and subtitle for the film on the VHS release, as well as some of the as the designing DVD package to match the other movies in the series. The movie was aired on the Sci-Fi Channel's anime lineup in the U.S. in the mid-1990s. And Urusei Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer was released on Blu-ray by Discotech Media, which Discotech Media confirmed that they, they will release the film on February 27, 2018, last year, I guess. So this is my review on Urusei Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer. And it's also mentioned, and Urusei Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer, elegies have mentioned in Susan Napier's book, Anime from Akira to Howl's Moving Castle, as well as this movie was mentioned in this other anime books, like the Cinema of Art of Momoru Oshi books like, as well. So this concludes for my anime review of Urusei Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer. So that's going to be it for my anime review on Urusei Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer. You guys, thanks for watching, but before we go, here's my quick thoughts about it. This is my favorite Urusei Yatsura movie, on because I have it on both VHS and Blu-ray, which is in my anime collection. So I decided to do an anime review on it. Hope subscribe for content. My anime plan link in the description down below. You share this video on your Twitter and Facebook. If you have Twitter and Facebook account and all social media, be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking the like button on this video. Please leave it in the comments about Urusei Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer on the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel, Ruroni K95. Feel free to join my channel. Click on my notifications bell button. Check out my other previous videos that I uploaded as well. And that's all I have to say. So keep it otaku for this anime review on Urusei Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer, and that's it. Next anime review, The Fantastic Adventures of Unico. This is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my anime review on Urusei Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer. I'm glad you liked it. I hope you enjoy it. And hope to see you soon for the next anime review, and have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off, and thank you for watching my anime review on Urusei Yatsura 2, Beautiful Dreamer, which is the first Urusei, the second Urusei Yatsura movie to, for today's anime review by far.